Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Mel's Hole has been a terrifying mystery ever since it was revealed to the world by the man who found it in his yard. Mel Waters, the man behind the mystery, did everything within his power to get to the bottom of the hole or find out why it was so weird. However, all his efforts proved abortive. From being a bottomless pit to emitting strange radio waves and supernatural powers, Mel's Hole has been called many things over the years and has even been linked to aliens. But now, shocking revelations have come to light that indicates that this hole is far more dangerous than we thought. What is the mysterious story behind Mel's Hole? Why is it so intriguing? What shocking revelations have come to light about this hole to explain this enigmatic mystery? Join us in this video as what they found at the bottom of Mel's Hole terrifies the whole world. Our Earth is full of wonders. Every day, Scientists and researchers are learning new things about our world, finding new species, and uncovering new facts about our world. Most times, our discoveries are fascinating. But then, some other times, we encounter things that are quite mind-blowing, things that are mystic and paranormal to say the least. Mel's Hole is one such discovery. Imagine a bottomless hole with strange features that just don't seem logical. A hole that appeared mysteriously out of nowhere and seem to terrify even nature itself. Nothing goes in and nothing comes out. If there were to be a countdown of the most mysterious land features found on Earth, Mel's Hole would be among the top five. But what exactly is Mel's Hole and what's its origin? The Mel's Hole is a mysterious hole that first came into the limelight in 1997. Back then, a radio host for a station named Coast to Coast AM got reports about a strange hole from a man named Mel Waters. Coast to Coast AM was a radio program that dealt with exploring strange events and weird phenomena. So when Art Bell, the host of the radio show, got the news, he got interested. According to Mel, there was a strange hole in his land. In his report, Mel claimed that the hole was bottomless and scared his animals so much that no creature dared to go near it. In fact, even birds never dared to fly over the hole. It was an intriguing report, so Art Bell wasted no time inviting Mel to the radio station to share his story. And that is how the mystery of Mel's Hole came to light, a phenomenon that has grown to become one of the most famous mysteries in the world. Mel's Hole is located just 80 miles from Mel Waters' home on his land in Manistash, Washington. During his interview, Mel explained that he met the hole on the bought the property. Every one of his neighbours was very much aware of the hole's existence. However, it wasn't until Mel began to live on his property that he began to discover strange facts about the hole. At the time, the hole was used as a garbage dumpster. Everyone in the neighbourhood usually dumped their garbage in the hole. Whether it was trash, broken heavy machinery or sewage, anything and everything was dumped in this one hole. But here's the thing, no matter how much stuff was dumped in, it never got full. In fact, you couldn't even see the bottom of the hole or hear your stuff land at the bottom. This was one strange fact about the hole that the locals, including Mel Waters, couldn't understand. Aside from that, certain strange paranormal events began to occur, things that defied explanations. One of the strangest stories about Mel's Hole was the story of a dead dog that came back to life. According to Mel, one of his neighbours once lost his dog to the cold claws of death. But rather than bury the dog the proper way, this man decided to throw the dead dog into the hole. It seemed like a bright idea at first, but then what happened later shocked the entire community. A few days later, the hunter who owned the dog saw his pet running around, moving towards the woods. It was as healthy as it could be and didn't show any signs of impalement whatsoever. But strangely, the dog, which used to be very attached to its owner, never responded to the hunter's calls. Mel revealed that his neighbour, seeing his dog, had whistled several times, but it responded to him. 
It was as if it never recognized the hunter or his whistle, as if it was a different dog entirely. This story has raised many questions over the years. What happened to the dog after it was thrown into the hole? Did it magically get revived and crawl out of the hole? Or was the hunter simply mistaking another person's dog for his own? There's no clear answer to these questions. The story is just as mysterious as it gets, but there's little chance that the hunter mistook another person's dog for his. However, more than just the appearance, the hunter recognized the collar on his dog. It was the same collar it had when it was alive. And remember, this incident occurred merely a few days after the dog was buried. This story is one that shares the mysterious dark side of the Mel hole, but it isn't the only one. In fact, the story of how this hole, labeled as a bottomless pit, came to be is just as stunning. It all started when Mel decided to check the depth of the hole one day out of curiosity. He started by dropping heavy tools into the hole, hoping to at least hear a sound when the object hit the bottom. However, with every tool he dropped, he heard nothing. Usually, when you drop an object into a deep pit, you should hear a thud or a splash. A splash would indicate there's water at the bottom of the hole, while a thud would indicate the hole's bottom is dry. When Mel heard neither, he became very curious to know just how deep the hole was. And so, he took up a fishing line, attached some candies to the end of the line, and then lowered it into the hole. The idea for this was simple. If the candies dissolved, then it would be obvious that there was a pool of water down at the bottom of the hole. However, if, after everything, Mel finds dirt stuck on the candy, then that would indicate a dry bottom. Mel's fishing line got exhausted at a depth of about 1,500 feet. But shockingly, after he brought out the candy, it was still whole. Not ready to give up, Mel purchased several spools of fishing line, joined them together, and tied a lead weight to them. Finally, he lowered the cable into the hole, and strangely, the hole just kept eating the line. After continuing for a while, Mel stopped to check just how much fishing line the hole had taken up. That's when he realized that about 80,000 feet of fishing line had gone down the hole. And yet, there wasn't any sign of it hitting the bottom. It was from that day that Mel affirmed that truly, the hole had no end. Armed with this discovery, he set out to meet his TV host friend, Art Bell. Mel asked Art to help him confirm the pit's depth so they could know for sure if it was bottomless. Art Bell offered that someone be lowered into the hole while being suspended from a line and pulley. However, Mel didn't quite agree to this. For one, he feared that the air condition down there might be harmful. Perhaps there were toxic gases or other harmful stuff that could be fatal to any person who dared enter. Another reason Mel was skeptical was because of the strange paranormal events that surrounded the hole. What if the person mysteriously disappears or ends up dead? Mel didn't want to have anyone's blood on his hands. And so, even though someone had already volunteered to go into the hole, Mel didn't let it happen. He did mention something though. He announced that if it came to the worse, he would rather jump into the pit himself. Now, you may be wondering why Mel would say such a thing. Well, Mel actually said this because he knew the hole wasn't an ordinary hole. Mel's thought was that one day, if he got diagnosed with a terminal illness, he would jump into the hole and get rejuvenated, just like his neighbor's dead dog. That sounds quite interesting because in doing so, he would also finally get to discover what's down there in Mel's hole. Another hole very similar to Mel's hole was found in Nevada. A group of Native American folks who had heard Mel on the show reached out to him and took him to the hole for testing. Their hole was just as mysterious as Mel's. Animals dreaded it, and it seemed to have some supernatural healing powers. There were also strange noises coming from the hole. Mel recounted that when he and the locals went to investigate the pit, they decided to use a sheep. Strangely, immediately, they brought the sheep to the mouth of the hole everywhere went silent. The sheep also fought and kicked furiously as if it was scared of something. 
By the time they lowered the sheep a little distance into the hole, it let out a loud scream. This prompted Mel and his companions to pull out the sheep. When they did so, they found out it was already dead. Just in case you're wondering, Mel's hole isn't massive. In fact, at first glance, there's nothing too fancy about this hole, at least not on the surface. The hole measures just about nine feet across, with some stones at the entrance. Apart from that, some mysterious coins and objects were found around the hole's entrance. Mel Waters had retrieved these coins and kept them for safekeeping. However, years later, when the coins ventured into the hands of a physicist and researcher named Richard C. Haugland, he concluded that they were probably from a parallel universe. This would mean that Mel's Hole is a gateway to another dimension or universe. As mind-blowing as this may sound, it would explain why the pit is bottomless and why so many paranormal events occur around it. Some folks have recounted that the hole seems to speed up or lag time. One whistleblower shared how he felt dizzy for some minutes when he got to the entrance of the hole, but by the time he left, he realized over five hours had passed. All these make the theory of Mel's hole being the door to another dimension arguably true. But then again, a few other daunting individuals and researchers have come up with other interesting theories to try and explain the mystery hole. One emerging theory is that this hole is actually a volcanic cave. Volcanic caves are caves formed in volcanic rock from the empty spaces left behind after molten lava might have passed through. It is sometimes called a lava cave or lava tube. The masterminds behind this theory suggest that Mel's Hole may be the mouth of a volcanic cave formed thousands of years ago. While the state of Washington rests on a somewhat active volcanic hotspot, this theory of Mel's Hole doesn't seem to fit. For one, volcanic caves usually don't appear to be so deep or bottomless as Mel's Hole. Plus, no volcanic holes have been known to possess the strange paranormal features that the Mel Hole does. Going by these facts, it's safe to say that the Mel's Hole is not a volcanic cave. But if so, what is it? Another theory that seeks to explain Mel's Hole connects it to the Hollow Earth Theory. The Hollow Earth Theory originated in the early 1800s from John Simmies. It states that the Earth is hollow and contains an interior space. This theory suggests that there are holes in certain parts of the Earth's surface that may lead to this hollow interior. Following this theory, it is believed that Mel's Hole is one of such holes that leads to the interior of the Earth. While this may seem absurd, it actually makes sense as it explains why the hole seems to be bottomless. It also explains the way animals are scared of this hole. Since animals have more keen senses than humans, perhaps they can sense that the hole is an infinite abyss and would want to steer clear of it. However, admitting that Mel's hole is a door to the interior of the Earth would actually mean admitting that the hollow Earth theory was right in the first place. Just so you know, the Hollow Earth theory has faced many controversies. The lack of substantial proof of the facts has made many members of the scientific community wave it aside. Be that as it may, mainstream science hasn't accepted the story of Mel's Hole being a passage to the underworld. And this leads us to our next theory. The theory that Mel's Hole was a top secret government project. Over the years, we have seen several leaked documents and whistleblowers come to testify about the government's secret programs and experiments, some of which are often spine-chilling. Well, what if Mel's Hole was one such project? Curiously, something interesting happened after Mel Waters shared his super story with the world. The day after the podcast, when he got home, he was greeted by armed military personnel. They had blocked off the road to his property and seemed to be conducting some kind of operation on his land. He saw a few men in what seemed to be hazmat suits moving around. The entire scenario was a big shock to Mel, as he couldn't understand why the military was there or what they wanted. When he asked, they claimed that a plane had crashed there. However, Mel couldn't see any debris, smoke or anything that would indicate a crash had happened. Suspecting that something was fishy, Mel asked to see the man in charge. However, not only did they refuse him, but they also threatened him. 
they implied that Mel's land was not really his property and they could easily take it from him. Mel wasn't pleased to hear this and threatened to go to press. But shockingly, the uniformed man who seemed to be in charge simply scoffed at him and dared him to do his worst. He held the opinion that even if Mel went to the press, nobody would believe him anyway. Mel recapped this skoking event to his friend Art Bell. But that wasn't the end of it. Mel also recounted seeing what resembled a thick black beam coming out of the hole. It was like a dark searchlight reaching out into the sky. Mel recounted that this mysterious black stuff sucked the light around it, kind of like how black holes suck in anything around them. This shocking revelation made Art Bell invite Mel Waters for a second interview on the show. And during the interview, Mel dropped some more exciting details. He revealed that he had just received word from his real estate agent that someone was very interested in buying off his property for a mouth-watering amount of money. This was kind of suspicious, seeing that it came right after the military invaded his home. Was the government trying to buy Mel off? And if so, could it be that something about Mel's hole grabs their interest? We're not sure. At the time, some radio callers who were listening to the show mentioned that Mel's property wasn't too far from the Yakima Training Center, a military base in Washington, DC. This would explain the quick response from the military, but then it doesn't explain the why. What was the army looking for on Mel's property? Adding more to the intrigue is the fact that the area for some time had been rumored to be a hotspot for UFOs. UFOs, or unidentified flying objects, are strange objects that seem to defy the laws of gravity as well as every law of physics known to man. These craft have long been seen as alien spacecraft. Sightings of UFOs began in the 1940s and 50s. These reports usually described UFOs as flying saucers. However, by the late 1990s, especially in 1997, the US had become a breeding ground for UFOs as reports of UFO sightings skyrocketed. Some citizens even claimed to have been captured or injured by these things. It was for this reason that some callers on the show advised Mel to be careful since UFOs were probably lurking in the area. And what's intriguing here is that Mel's hole came into the limelight just about the same time UFOs became very rampant in the United States. This makes you wonder, is there some sort of connection between Mel's hole and UFOs or aliens? Did the military investigate the hole because they thought it had an alien origin? We can't tell the right answers to these questions. But in any case, something very disturbing did happen to Mel after his second show on the radio station. He mysteriously disappeared. For over three years, there was no news of Mel Waters, even his radio host friend Art Bell didn't hear from him. It wasn't until 2002 that Art Bell finally tracked down Mel Waters and brought him back to the show. It was a refreshing moment for Art Bell and the thousands of fans all over the country who had come to love the intriguing mystery of Mel's hole. However, in the course of the show, Mel reveals a crazy secret, a secret that may have cost him his life. Mel shared that he had been offered $250,000 a month to lease the property to an unknown buyer. However, there was a catch. He was to never talk about the mysterious hole again to anyone. Also, he was to disappear from the radar or relocate to somewhere else altogether. Mel took the deal and migrated to Australia. When Art Bell asked why he never called, Mel narrated a shocking incident that befell him in December 1999. Mel had been attempting to help his nephew move into his new apartment in Olympia, Washington. However, on his way to Olympia, the bus he boarded got pulled over by authorities on the grounds that there was an altercation on board. Mel and several other passengers were led to a second bus, and after that, he lost all sense of memory. Mel admitted that the last thing he remembered was entering that bus with those passengers as the transit authorities demanded. However, he woke up a few days later in a dirt alley in San Francisco. How he ended up there, and for what reason, Mel was totally clueless. However, his story does resemble the story of Travis Walton, 
who claims to have been abducted by aliens, only to wake up days later in a strange new place. Travis Walton also admitted having no memories of the three days he went missing, just like Mel. Also, Mel woke up with an IV tape in his arm and his molar teeth were removed. This seems to suggest that some sort of operation was done on him while he blacked out. This tallies greatly with Travis Walton's story, who claims the aliens did some experiment on him and he's never felt the same after. As spine-chilling as all this might be, it becomes a whole mind-bending mystery when you consider the fact that this was the last time anyone ever heard from Mel. Ever since the 2002 radio show in which Mel disclosed his ordeal, no one has seen or heard from him again. The actual location of Mel's hole has also become a mystery. It's like something or someone mysteriously covered up the hole, so finding Mel's property is no longer possible. As such, solving the mystery of this hole through hands-on research is no longer possible. But that doesn't in any way reduce the interest and intrigue the public has for this mystery. In recent years, Mel's Hole has become even more popular, with more and more smart folks connecting the lines to try and explain what the hole really is. If the hole is found and investigated with our current level of technology, it's only a matter of time before we get to the bottom of this enigmatic mystery. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.